Okay, everyone, welcome again to a Wednesday uh, Drink Manila Live. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Icy Marines, and I am your host for today, uh, as always. Um, so it's going to be an exciting episode today. As we first time, we have a special guest today. His name is Mr. June Flores of the um, Craft Beers uh, uh, Craft Beer Association of the Philippines, and it's our first time to feature Philippine craft beers. Uh, here on uh, Drink Manila uh, Plus One, uh, Happy Hour Plus One. So we're really, really excited to have him on board. Um, we're going to be having a really interesting, a lot of interesting uh, questions for him uh, later on. For people who are just watching uh, Drink Manila Happy Hour for the first time, um, we're going to be asking uh, our special guest, June, about you know the situation of the craft beer industry in the Philippines why we should be drinking it right now you know um there's probably still a lot of you who haven't tried you know philippine craft beers but for people who have you know i'm sure you guys are you know fans and fanatics of this just like if you were traveling abroad you know i'm sure you've seen a lot of like crazy like microbreweries around if you're traveling maybe in japan uh you know in in, in europe in in america you know it's such a big thing and um what's exciting about uh the situation of this um craft brewery uh, brewing in in the philippines uh, the, the beer uh craft beers is that it's really booming you know there's a lot of a lot of brewers who are you know um, making their own uh beers may it be a small microbrewery or a you know a, a larger one like encanto if you're familiar but if you're not if you're not familiar please you know stay with us the whole episode you know it's going to be an hour long we're going to be taking you through different types of um we're going to be talking about the craft beers in the philippines and we're going to be featuring a few there's just a few i mean there's there's i was told that there's a, a more than 300 uh different um uh different uh, craft beers in the philippines available right now and there's so much for you for us to try but we're going to be trying five today and we're going to be you know this if there's any questions or any shout outs that you guys might want to do you know don't hesitate to um a comment uh, on the um, the comment box, and uh, we will definitely entertain you. So, without further ado, I'm going to be pulling up Mr. June Flores, and here he is. Let me unmute you. Hey, June, how you doing? Your uh, dog is I'm excited. Good. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> yes, good afternoon. All right, so welcome, nice. welcome to welcome to a Drip Manila Happy Hour Plus One. So finally. We have you here, and we're going to be talking about beers. It's so exciting, you know. We're always talking about spirits most of the time, uh, but you know, to talk about Philippine craft beers, it's it's uh, it's it's really cool. So, so June, um, thank you so much. First of all, I want to thank you so much for you know uh, guesting here. Yeah. And uh, yeah. as I introduced you earlier, um, when we were actually when we were doing your poster, you said you know you just want to put June Flores of the Philippine Craft Beer Association. But you are the president, so tell us about uh, how did how did how did um, the Philippine Craft Beer uh, Association start? Okay, uh, it actually incorporated back in 2015, when I'm still in Singapore by that 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 time. So, well, I think the main reason of any association actually is to to get like everyone uh, in one uh, idea or activity kumpaga right so they they set it up back in 2015 uh to kasi we we they noticed that there are more and more breweries uh coming coming up in the market so i think it's it's better to to organize them yeah so so you, so you organized it 2015 but on a personal level when did you start uh your love for beer. I mean, obviously, you know, you're doing this also for passion. Aside from, you know, you, you used to have your uh, your brewery as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, and I know you have plans of doing something else, but still based on the, you know, a craft beer community. We'll talk about that later. But um, how did you get into it? I mean, you know, I, I'm sure if it's Filipinos, Filipinos, when they say beer, you know, everybody knows what beer is. And I'm sure like maybe 90% of Filipinos, they tried you know, beer once in their life. What was, what is your uh, beer story? Okay. How did you fall in love with this, uh, this, this drink? I'm, I'm actually really a beer drinker. I don't, I, I mean, of course I appreciate other beverage, but I'm really into beer. So I started 
mm-hmm. into craft beer when I was in Singapore. I, mm-hmm. I get into home brewing also because mm-hmm. uh, I get influenced by a colleague back in Hewlett Packard. So it was like, because I think it's it's a good hobby also to to do uh, beer brewing. So yeah, don't know start. Because of course, in Singapore, alam naman natin na mahal ang alcoholic beverage don. So I think it's another <laughs> so you thing. So decided to make your own. <laughs> yes, but but how much beer were you consuming that you had to think about that? You know. <laughs> Well, okay. Uh, average at least 20 liters. Then, of course, hindi ko naman kayang ubusin lahat yun, So, I have to share it with my friends. In one so, go. Yeah. So, you yeah. always had a party every time you brewed? How often did you do, uh, how, how, how often did you brew? Well, of course, uh, initially, medyo like once every other month. But later on, become consistently every month. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. So, because of... um. Your, your love for beer and you drank probably a lot of beer, so it was expensive in Singapore, so you decided to make your own. So <laughs> I guess also, aside from the, so what kind of beers, I mean, like, so you started with kind of beer, like, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's a question, a lot of, a lot of people here, like, one of the big questions is, how do you start brewing? Like, you know, when you started, so your friend got, got you into, um, to craft beer, so as as a person who's never i've never i i want to brew my beer i want to be able to like i think i i can uh i can have i have good uh what do you call this taste that i can uh, brew a good batch of beer but i've never done it myself um so how would you instruct like a first time uh uh brewer or you know uh, somebody who's attempting to to brew their own beer what what do we need what 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 do we need to have just basic okay. Is it expensive to brew? You know, I mean, do you have to buy those? I've been looking at those gadgets. They're expensive, huh? Well, yeah. Okay, first, you need patience. That's the first thing. Because brewing a beer is not, well, it's not easy in a way, but it's fulfilling, right? It's it's a long process. It, it, it will take at least two weeks to a month. Depende kung anong klase yung beer, but there are more than some some styles of beer are more than like you count months, like six months, right? So it's it's a long process, but it's it's a feeling because imagine before I thought only this big company can do beer, imagine like yeah. di ba? Because hindi ko alam na na even sa bahay you can do beer, so it's just a long process and and. Sinasabi nila, no, maybe it's expensive, diba? It's not. You can mm-hmm. actually use your home equipment to start. You don't really have to purchase or buy other things. Of course, there are uh, items na kailangan mo kasi otherwise it will not work. Then, But you can actually utilize all your uh, kitchen utensils sa bahay. So, what, so basically, so what are the basics? Like, you know, what do we, what can we use from our normal kitchen uh, equipment, okay, uh, and then and then maverick our way through making beer. And what is the mm-hmm. most important thing we need to buy? All right. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, you need at least a bigger uh, cooking pot. How many malaki. liters? So well, depending on how much you want to do it, but at least around ten to fifteen liters pot. Right, it's kasi yun, you know, and then you need like uh, parang basket, parang laundry bag, so where you yeah. can put your grains. Para ka yeah, a nut bag or it's called a, a called the brewer's bag, or can it be a That's cheesecloth? Right. Well, pwede. Basta bag siya na you can actually put your 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 grains there and take it out after, right? And then uh, a mineral water. Container, you know those blue container na ginagamit natin. We can yeah, actually yeah. we can utilize that. So basically, that that's about okay. it to start to start. Oh, and of course, some other small items that you need. And and the th- and the beauty of this, like if you or if the people or the 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 people who's watching here wants to start home brewing, compared like like ten years ago or five years ago, all are ingredients you need to import it it, it, yourself Mm -hmm. right but now everything is available so you just look and uh, look for our page and 
we will able to help you. Yes. So yeah, you got so yeah, so definitely make sure people who are interested in uh, home brewing, you should go and follow their page uh, on f Facebook, Craft yes. uh, Craft Beer Philippines, right? And also yes. on Instagram. Uh, so you'll get a lot of the, so you get a lot of the contacts. Like everybody who's supplying everything is there. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's that makes it really easy, and it's nice to know that you know we can. We can just use our regular uh, kitchen uh, kitchen uh, utensils and uh, materials yeah. uh, without and, having to buy new ones. Yeah, and I think especially this time, right? We're we're just stuck at home. Uh, yeah, bored. It's the best I time think, to brew. Yes, that's right. Yeah, actually, it's the best I noticed, time to brew. I, I yeah. noticed that our page, our 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 uh, community, is so busy now because a lot of people are asking questions because they started brewing. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Like, um, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, and I'm going to call you and ask you questions when I do it. But like, I'm, I've been invited to uh, to do some beers actually, like you know, signature beers before. But I've never really gotten uh, my way around it. But um, you know, I've already started. I've done my my ginger my ginger uh, ginger beer. I've, I've done. I've brewed my own ginger beer. Uh, I have, I've started my kombucha. So, okay. uh, beer na lang, malapit na. <laughs> That's okay, definitely the next one. So, right. but thanks for the loose tip. So, guys, you know, it's super easy and it's really, I think, a really, really cool uh, hobby to do right now. Right. And, um, and, 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 June, like, share with us. Okay, so, um, so we're, so we're talking about the home brewing, so madali lang pala mag start, right? So, what are the other materials that we need to buy naman? So, okay, so we have the the pot so we can, you know, we can cook or we can right. do our, our um, beer. What is something that we need to buy okay. before we start? So, like, of course, beer, alam naman natin that they, are four, they have four ingredients, right? So, uh, we have malts or grains, okay? So, malted grains, they call it malted grains, not just ordinary grains, it's malted grains. Uh, hops yeast and of course water right so the first three like you know, malted grains hops and yeast they're all imported we don't have like local uh product all right but yeah of course there there uh, uh there are com there's a company here who malt their own grains meaning from raw grains and to malting it all right so okay. but most, so they most make of it, them okay. are all imported. And then of course on local lang talaga is yung labor at saka yung water. And of course yung yung passion of doing it. So yeah. So oh. yun yung mga kailangan mong uh, ingredients, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. How about any equipment wala na? We don't need like, you know, mga may mga alcohol tester and then those oh, things okay. that those things that shake. What do you call that? The one that shake and those are those are advanced brewers. If, if you just want to like go and try like you don't need to have they, they call it the hydrometer to see how much like uh, sugar on your water right to to get the final gravity of your beer or yung alcohol by volume. So hindi mo na kailangan yun kasi otherwise you read if you're really into it then okay of course buy those items but to start uh, hindi hindi na kailangan yun for a start. So yeah. happy accident na lang yun if you start brewing and eh, yung pala ang taas pala ng alcohol content ng beer. Happy accident na lang yun, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can and, drink less beer. <laughs> and and then for the people who who wants to try don't get like kasi iba like it's not like even for me or even for most of the home brewer who started in this hobby hindi yan one time na uy perfect you love it perfect brew diba usually you'll get into like first second third or even fourth you'll get like bad batch we call it diba? but i think the beauty of it is natututunan mo how to adjust diba ay doon pala ako nagkamali i have to con uh, focus on the adjustment so it's it's a it's a long it's really a long process to become a best or good brewer. 
for anything that you do anyway, right? I mean, you definitely need some time. And it's the, really the perfect time to do it because most of us, they, we have extra time in our hands. It's really, it, I think it's a really exciting hobby to get into. And uh, I hope the people who are watching here can definitely get in get in touch with you so that they can start brewing themselves. And uh, But Alano, I'll ask you, let's do a, a special brew for Drink Manila. So, sure. Uh, and- and in addition, to, hindi lang ako. Like you just join the group and ask yeah. questions, and there are many like brewer who will help you and answer your questions. So anything regarding homebrew way. So that's one of the uses for uh, joining uh, Craft Beer Association of the Philippines. Uh, what are the other great reasons why they should be joining also, or why they should be looking at this association? Okay. I mean. Uh, you were saying earlier that you know it's a, uh, it basically pulls everybody together, you know, so yes, that you know you have right. ambition, you know, you can set it up. What are the other reasons why it's important you guys are around? Well, what do you guys do? That's there's a lot of benefits. It's like okay, like doing events, right? Like regularly we do events, right? So automatic those those members are automatically part of this event event that we are doing okay it's not just that just like the most recent incident i'm not sure i think you'll be aware of that like you know the mm-hmm. the methanol uh incident right oh, yes so, yes so sad, yeah so yes it's just sad but the thing is the beauty of having an association it actually uh gathered everyone in uh, in our community and really protect each other right so like Kasi lumabas, di ba, sa news na, even, don't support all craft, gene, alcoholic, including yes. beer, right? So, yeah. mm-hmm. I think maybe later I will explain what's the difference between distilling, like whiskey and gin, and compared yeah. to beer, right? So, and yeah. so, so distilling yeah. and brewing are two different things, guys. Yes, so, <laughs> nung nangyari yun, like the association come up with the core team to tackle this issue, like the, how we're going to answer it to the, like, some media, uh, answer it to mm-hmm. anyone who will ask questions about about it. And then when later on, when we even released a, uh, an advisory, and which picked up by by the media, the, the those uh, like ABS-CBN, yeah. uh, Inquirer, yeah. so that you know that we're not part it's totally different so at least yeah. with, with with the association it actually helped us to to you know like unite really unite it's it's the, the main purpose talaga is to unite the the, the members and in the industry yeah because i imagine you know association has definitely made uh, specific standards that you guys have to follow and adhere to yeah. So that makes definitely, you know, drinking craft beer uh, in the Philippines safe. Uh, as long as, of course, you know, it, it would be best if you, you know, were a member because I'm sure all those members are adhering to all these, like, standards that you guys set in place. Yes. And then um, also, and also working with the government, like, you know, uh, with DTI, with, uh, with the LGU. Like, the, the most recent one is the, the liquor ban. Right, so like the, the whole, not just the beer, but the whole liquor industry is, was affected. So, the association yeah. sent a message to like LGU, the DTI. Of course, if you're an individual brewery who will send a message yeah. to them, most probably they won't that. really mind it. Yeah, you. right. Yeah, but like yeah. having an association is really a good uh, initiative, really. So thank God you guys are here because you know it could have been a worse situation if. Uh, there was no uh, association actually, um, you know, helping all these brewers. I mean, right now you have 50 members and there's 70 different brewers around the Philippines. Yeah. I mean, uh, when I started uh, with um, Drink Manila, uh, even before that, when I started my own bar, um, I was actually one of the first uh, bar. I was the I was one of the first bars to actually serve craft beer on tap so i was serving g point so i was the first i would because g point wasn't selling to anybody we were the first one to sell tap a a craft uh beer on tap and i really pushed that and i said i'd rather not sell uh you know the usual local beers 
if they want, they can pay for it. Expensive. But my craft beer was the same amount or even cheaper than, you know, San Miguel, for okay. example. So that's what I, that's how that's how I was trying to push and support the local uh, scene during that time. That was uh, six years ago. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, and grave. I mean, ang ganda ng, uh, it was a great. Um, the the you know the, my my guests loved it. You know, they were we were serving pints for uh, a full pint, ah, for a hundred fifty pesos or a hundred thirty okay. pesos, something like that. Yeah. And um, it was fresh on on tap, so yes, yes, no, yes. everybody just went gaga for that, and we sold so many barrels. It's like crazy. So I think, uh, that's, you know, I think that's the beauty of craft beer. You know, uh, yeah. you get uh, fresh, and then you get a different variety, or we call it styles or flavors, and then of course high quality and handmade. Right? Exactly. So you know, we were talking about that, and you know, we were talking about how uh, the, uh, the Philippine Craft Beer Association has been helping also. So how is it, like, the whole, everybody in the Philippines, every all the industries, and most especially, like, um, you know, the the hospitality industry and also, uh, of course, the, the, the beverage industry has been really, really hit hard and just keeps on getting hit harder and harder with all these restrictions, with all the liquor bans. You know, what is the situation of uh, the Philippine craft brewers? <laughs> well, I think we're all in the same boat, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I think the, the beauty of, okay, the beauty of like our industry is even though that we're competing to each other, we are really helping each other, right? Even we're like, of course, like, for example, Pedro and Joe's Brew, right? They're, they're mm -hmm. two different entity right but the beauty of they're it is different brands yes yes but they're they're helping each other right so, they so do now they, they've of, done collaborations now they do a lot of collaborations they do uh they do like a lot of marketing together it, it's 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 that's the beauty of uh of our industry is we're helping we're stronger together rather than like you do your own marketing I think we read, we do together, and it does much more like impact in the market. I, I like that. Um, I like that uh, line uh, that you said. You know, we're all in this together. And in fact, because of that line, medyo nasa thirsty na ako. I know you sent me. So let's yeah. start. Like, you know, this is Drink Manila Happy Hour, and we have to start drinking at a certain point. And I think it's a good time to start pulling out our beers. Okay. So you sent me. This I think really cool package from Elias, right? So it came from um, Elias uh, Wicked Ales and Spirits in, in this box. It's a really cool box also, I guess it's a really cool giveaway. Yeah. Um, and I mean you know I've been I've been stalking your um your 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 page on Facebook and uh, and, uh, and uh, also your Viber group. Uh, I'm so impressed with all the designs and all the promos coming out also with beers. I mean, guys, yeah. you know, if you haven't been to the uh, Philippine Craft Beer uh, Viber page or their Facebook or their Instagram, please go. There's a lot of like really crazy promos uh, going around right now. And it's really the best time. If you're too tamad and you're too lazy to make your own beer, you know, just pick up the phone and, and, and message these guys and order and try these beers. There's more than 300 types of different craft beers around the Philippines that's locally made. You know, you got to start trying it now. So, okay, so we get, so, okay, so we're going to have, so, so this is what, what okay. I got from the mail. This one and um, the mixtape. Yep. So for guys. I posted I posted this mixtape on my stories and I said you know when was the last time you had a mixtape you got a mixtape nor the champ parang na medyo no obvious na yung age natin di ba for people for the you know for the young ones who haven't uh you know heard of what a mixtape is it's um what you give to your friends or maybe to somebody you really like your crush and you make them a nice special tape you know with music and songs that you think that can be remind can remind them of you or remind them of your you know your trip to the beach or something you know, uh, or I mean, yes. what was the purpose of the mixtape? Okay, so I'm with the name. I really like the name for people who don't know it. So I explain what it is. You know, for like the the millennials there and the younger ones as well. 
who are already of drinking age, of course, over 18, right? Uh, it di- I mean, from, from my point of view, I really like the name because, um, you know, it reminds me of so much memories of milk uh, mixtape. So uh, tell us more about this. Um, okay. Can you now we talk about uh, the collaboration, right? So this yeah. is actually a collaboration with ah. some uh, local DJs. With, from, oh, cool. Uh, El- Elias and the local DJ. So I think. So Elias is a DJ or he's just a brewer with a lot of DJ oh, oh, friends? Oh, well, he's a brewer, a DJ, and a lot of things. But I'm, but I'm a shy. Wow. So, uh, Elias is, yeah, so Elias is located in Quezon City. Uh, Ubay, Ubay Street. It's near Banawe, I think. Yeah. So okay. yeah. And then what? Ano pa bang? Ano pa nga ba yung? <laughs> ano bang gagawin natin? Let's yeah, let ano? Me... Okay. So well, maybe okay, let's, so let's it. tape it. Let's let's open it. Let's, yeah, open, let's open it. it. Well, we're starting with a beer, and this one is a an ale. But we'll drink this later, pa after the other set, no? Yep. So we're we're actually we actually have five different beers to taste with five different styles. So this is the first one, and this is more of a pale, a pale ale. ale. It's a pale ale. What is right. what is a pale ale? Okay. For people, ah, it's excited to come out in. All right. So okay. it, pale ale right. is uh, one of the mm. the style. It's the oh it's wow. Style. You know so I haven't you had a. I haven't had, I have I haven't had um, a craft beer in a while. Uh, I've been drinking, you know, what I have at home. I have uh, what do I have at home? I have the usual. I have um, San Miguel Light over the over the lockdown. Thank God, my my uh, my brother-in-law stayed over uh, here with the family, and you know he he's an avid um, beer drinker, and he always had beer, but he mostly had. Um, San Miguel Light. Okay. Uh, I had um, Pilsner and uh, Lambic beer. Okay. Uh, different oh, styles of Lambic right. beer, but I haven't had a good pale ale in a while. And this, everyone, I'm telling you, is just kind of like uh, if you say music to to your to your ears, this is like kind of music to my mouth. It's great. <laughs> I mean, it's um, it's um. It's it's actually it's it's um for me it's it has a long uh, nice long finish the the um, the entry to the uh, the entry the way we when you taste it has a really nice mouth feel it's smooth and creamy. All right. um, so I think it's it's nice to have you here <laughs> because kung ako yung tatanungin mo like I'm not that kind of person right na who who na like I get parang I digest everything na. So beers for me it's just simple like you, i like it or i don't like it right but of course there which, are which people, is the most important thing yeah but of course there are people who who really get a lot of things in the beer right they were like just just purely smelling it they will get like aroma of something right or like sweetness yeah. of something so for me it's like matamisa okay uh i get the sweet citrus flavor Okay, na. But for other people, I think like you, you were able to like find like sh- like sweetness coming from something, right? It has a nice rounded uh, a taste to it. Medyo may pagka yung citrus niya. It's more of kind of like a, a, an orange for me. Yeah, it's more of like an orange kind of like uh, taste. So it's a really easy. Um, it's a really easy uh, beer, craft beer to drink. I mean, okay. and uh, it's, a, it's, not, and it's, a, it's not so bitter as well. It's, uh, I would say maybe it's a uh, medium. Yeah. And so usually, bitter. yeah, usually pale ale or like uh, light to medium uh, bitterness. Okay. So, and then it's a 5.5 ABV. And then, That's a great balance. Yep. And then... Okay, so like most people, they will ask, bucket, bucket cans, right? bucket cans, bucket not bottles, right? And actually, there's a purpose of uh, like uh, doing it why, especially most of the craft beers are in cans, right? if you'll notice it. So the reason why is because cans are in these, uh, not like compared to like bottles, like especially clear bottles or 
napapenetrate siya ng UV light, ng sunlight. Okay. So, yeah. especially for craft beer, I mean, for for your information, craft beer are not pasteurized. They're not filtered. All right? So, the chance of contaminating or masira or mapanis ang craft beer or in beer kapag na-expose siya sa araw is higher. So, if it's in okay. can, it, it actually protects the beer better. Right. Yeah, and the shelf life is, I guess, longer, no, pag nakakan siya. So that's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. But I'm, you know, I'm re- I, I really love whoever designed this, um, you know, mm-hmm. from the name and the design of the label. It's great. You know, kudos to you guys. This is great. Yeah. You guys should try this. So, yeah, definitely, you know, um, you can find them on Facebook. You can find them on Instagram as Wicked Delias. Elias. Wicked Delias at Del- Wicked Delias. And then also, they can find them on Facebook again uh, on Wicked Delias. Elias. Elias. Oh, Elias. Wicked. Okay, right. Wicked Elias. Elias. Wicked Elias. Okay, it's Elias Wicked Ales. Right, awesome. This is great. From um, Elias. Is that really his name, Elias? Uh, no, his name is Raul. No. Hi, Raul. Ra- Thank you for the beer. Okay. Thanks for the beer. I'm really enjoying this. I uh, can't wait to try your cider. I'm like a hey. big fan of cider as well. And I, I see. Like, okay, just to add, add, add another thing. You don't really drink craft beer so I can, all right? Mm-hmm. So we usually... Yes. So we should be... <laughs> drinking sabaso, right? Okay. Sorry, I got so excited. I just drank it from the from the. Okay. Ano. This is like my. So let let me pour this and show you the head of this beer, which I know is very important. Ah, okay. Yeah. So explain to us why we should be pouring it that way as well. And I know that like the more foam you get, the better because it kind of like lessens the. Yes, it actually comes out. Can you please explain the... this to me? Okay, I'm not I'm not that technical, right? So usually, uh, you pour it like rigorously towards to the end, para lumabas yung aroma. So it actually brings yeah. out the aroma. But but some sa tayo na sa ni tayo na hindi nate dahan dahan lang tayo magpour para hindi lumabas yung yung yeah. foam, right? Or yung bubbles. But usually, yeah. if you pour it no in towards to the last, ng Mabilis, it, it actually brings out the aroma, more aroma. So, yeah. yeah, the aroma that I'm getting is that there's like, ano ba to? May mango ba to? Parang may mango na fruity, very fruity yeah. yung aroma yeah. niya for it's me. Yeah. Yep. Tsaka, you know, when it, when you're smelling this beer, when you're nosing this beer, that's the proper term for uh, to use. Um, it actually makes me salivate. So it's a really great. Uh, indication of the quality of this brew so you know of course the more you salivate the more you drink right so yeah. i guess that's i mean for me i think that's a good thing because when you don't salivate and you're drinking i think that's a problem because that kind of tells your body and it tells your mouth to stop drinking but this beer guys if you purchase this beer i will guarantee you it will make you salivate and i think it will make you definitely drink more <laughs> And like of course, in addition to to what we're like discussing is, I don't I don't believe that Filipino like flavor flavorless things, right? Like for example, uh, uh, like adobo, right? Or lechon, but there are too many variety of adobo and too many variety of lechon, like from from Manila, from Cebu, from southern part. Of, so different variety. It's like it's like beer. It's like drinking beer. So, nasanay lang tayo na we only drink one or siya lang yung available for us. Right? Yeah. So now, I think it's the beauty of uh, the craft beer is uh, you get, we can actually come up with a, a lot of variety, a lot of flavors. So, we're giving like our consumer or our the market a more option like more more things to to try hindi lang yung nakasanayan natin diba like 
try it and I mean, and then tell us what what do you think, right? We ha we have the yeah. same, you know? like when you when you start drinking craft beer, like most probably, yung yung bumalik ka ulit sa nakasanayan mo is mahirap na kasi this this offers better well i'm not i'm not saying that the other one is not good but it's more variety more flavor more aroma you know i mean it's exciting i mean you know, every time i mean again you know i cannot repeat this uh i i I can go on and on about this, but like, you know, when you told me that there's 300 different types of beers out in the market right now from the Philippines, I mean, wow. I mean, I, I didn't know na ganun na pala kadami sa Pilipinas. And I'm yeah. so proud and I'm so excited to know that, you know, there's a lot more things I have to try. And uh, thank you for, you know, introducing me to this to uh, Wicked Elias, definitely. It's going to be one of my, on my favorite list. So, okay, what's the next one? This is not going to be the only one that we're trying. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, so the next one is something that I came, that came with in this box. It's nice. It's a four pack. It's really yep. cool. Well, Anna, I just put it in the fridge. That's why it's empty. But, um, so it's, it comes in a four pack and then the, it, it comes in different styles also. So for people who are bored, you know, I'm sure you guys, I don't know who else is drinking beer right now with us because it's happy hour anyway. And it's always a good excuse to have a nice, you know, bottle of um, craft beer. Um, why don't you guys comment in the page and tell us, you know, what you guys are drinking right now. Maybe you guys are drinking something, maybe some beer as well. Tell us what you're drinking. I have my friends kind of a follow now. Yeah. But anyway, we are drinking this and this is our next one. Tell me, tell us about... Boondocks Brewing and Company. Okay. Tell us about this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, what is okay? Boondock is actually they're from uh, Marikina. Okay. Right. So uh, the Boondocks of Marikina. That's right. <laughs> and the brewers is called Taong Boondock. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I think their one of their goals is to uh, do great beers uh, and affo reasonable prices, affordable. I think I think that's the that's usually Madam Sila uh, like most of the people like uh, no they they always think that craft beer is so expensive, right? Okay, but I think I, I mean I, I'll I'll just share something all right i think that the reason why you you're it's become expensive because most of the beer that you are drinking or the beers that you are drinking are from the bars and restaurants so yung yung hindi siya from the retail shop so that's why if, if like uh, there are beers that available now in supermarket uh, i think some of in convenience store and online they're much cheaper than that we know before. Before, kasi, pag bibili ka sa bar, like from Alamant, sa Alamat, right? sa Poblacion, or cost you around 250 to 300 pesos, right? But now, because na, na eliminate mo na yung bar, right? So now it's available na to, through retail. So mas mura na siya. So you can actually get, get all these beers from. Average from 100 pesos to 150 pesos, right? So it's more, it's become more competitive. So hindi, hindi ka na mag na, oh, uh, I can't, I can't, hindi ko, hindi ko, ka, hindi ko afford zen to say it's so expensive. No, it's not. You're, you're totally wrong. Now it's become more affordable. <laughs> it depends on where you guys are drinking, right? So if you buy it online, buy in like supermarket, you will able to get uh, re reasonable prices of craft beers. So we have a few guys who um, responded as well, and just shout out to Erica Aquino also. She's she was watching, and hopefully she's still watching. Um, Mark Balanon sent us some cheers. Paul Dupont says hi, and he's made he, we've made him thirsty. It's very early in the UK. Lawrence Hernandez also cheers. Jack Was I'm sorry if I'm gonna I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. Wasma, my favorite is. Hopnosis from Craft Point. Do you know this guy? Unfortunately, yep. not available in coming in. So All stuck right. with SMB. But cheers <laughs> anyway, you know? 
so yeah, so what we were you gonna drink? Yeah, okay, then so okay, so the next one would be what would you recommend? Summer ale? Summer ale, yeah. I said we're gonna work we'll work ourselves up now. Mm-hmm. Yep, summer ale from Boondocks. Okay, let okay, me pull cool. some some of the thing that he sent me, because uh, as I said, hindi ako yung klase ng beer drinker <laughs> na I can, I can digest what's inside, right? So, Summer Ale okay. is an American-style blonde ale, right? Okay, cool. Uh, so, what uh, the description niya is crisp, clean, and flavorful. Right. Uh, um, so it can, has 5.2 ABV. Medyo mataas yung beer na to, ah. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. All right, let's open it up. And I'm going to go and do the, the pouring. So I'm going to be pouring this and making sure that we I have a nice head also on my beer. So mm-hmm. that, because I'm, with beer, it makes me burp quite easily. So I, okay. for me, uh, I, I've been taught that I need to make sure that I pour it up so that it foams quite well. And then it releases that. The gas stuff that the gas that makes me gassy so there uh, actually at this beer this is the beer yeah. that i like from, from boondocks to say it's well okay. balanced it's so it's so light it's easy to drink so oh. compared to his other beer right like <clears throat> like you know said a strong ale it's so strong like it's 8.5 percent so mm. Oh, crispy. It's very light and crisp. Yep. It's kind of like it's light. It's definitely it's definitely a beer that you can definitely drink for a long session. Yes. And like it's summer. you know it's <laughs> like summer like summer. summer yeah. Yes. For summer, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm enjoying this as well. This is cool. So, guys, if you are getting thirsty, you know you can order all these amazing beers, and they're um, they have amazing promotions online now. So, yeah. join the Philippine. Uh, go and go and check out the Philippine uh, Craft uh, Beer Brewers Association on Facebook. So, we're flashing the um, we're flashing it down there. You can see it. So, it's there. Uh, Craft Beer Philippines and Instagram Craft Beer PH. Right. So you can follow them and you can order your beers. Yep. Saka, like, parang elevate, elevate your ano, elevate your inuman experience. You yes, can order imagine, a flight of beers. Can, I, I, imagine, diba? Like, like you're so bored at home, diba? And then you're still drinking the same old stuff, right? I think it, this is a good time to drink something different. That, like, you know, try to impress your friend. You're like, hey, you know, ito yung iniinim ko. So what do you get out of that, right? Like, some, try to impress your, your, your friend or your or, girlfriend or something. Or just impress yourself. <laughs> yeah. You owe it. That's you right. owe it to yourself to try these brews. I mean, come on. You know, we're in the Philippines. We have to be proud of what we have. And especially now, you know, we have to make sure that we support um, all these um, friends of ours who are, you know, local brewers. Why do you need to purchase imported uh, craft beers? Well, we have an amazing selection of local brews. We have more yes. than 300. I mean, like, I'm sure you're going to find, you know, several several so, great beers there that you like. The best. Like, sure. like even me, right? I, I'm not, I don't like... Meron ako mga klase na or styles ng beer na I don't like, right? Na well, na I can Hindi drink matay. that. It's not your, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like of course, like those dark beer stout. No, it's not. Uh, what else? Wheat. I'm not a fan of wheat beer. But of course, if you serve me a pale ale or an IPA, I, I mean, I can I, I can drink that all night until talagang bumagsak ako, diba? right? Yeah. So, and and I think, I think the beauty of like craft beer now, right, is like and daming, and daming craft beer in every city, every 
area na nag mga brewers, di ba? Like we have from yeah. from up from north to from Digan, from Segada, to Pampanga, to Antipolo, di ba? Imagine this like beer tourism, di ba? Like people will go to Germany and Belgium just to experience this, di ba? Like go yeah. Enjoy. I people want to go, go. Yeah. Right? But people who go to people yeah, people who go to like me the last my last trip before the pandemic, Japan. My God, I mean, I was there because of sake, and I learned, I love, I'm totally in love, in love with sake. It's another spirit that is amazing. Uh, but mm. you know, um, when we're having breaks with the sake tasting, when we Swiss, uh, when we change stations, different stations from the northern, northest point of um, Japan down back to Tokyo. Lahat ng mga train stations na tinigilan namin, they all had different craft beers. So here I was, I wasn't going to drink all of it, but at least I would have like maybe like three per station. Tapos you're just drinking it kahit na hindi okay. mo yun, you know, just try to, amazing. That's something that would be really amazing if that happened in the Philippines. Hopefully yeah, it can happen, no? Yeah, it's, it's actually Global. a good experience, diba? It's, it's yeah. a good experience, right? You, you go... Diba? Rather than go overseas, like experience it local. Diba? You go to Sagada, try their beer, what they what they have to offer. Yeah. Diba? You go to Vegan. Diba? Diba? And usually, everything that they do are some are really doon mo lang makukuha, mau, makikita yung mga ingredients na ginagamit nila. They're, like sa Sagada, exactly. they're using rice diba? in their beer. Why would why wouldn't you guys want to try that? Why wouldn't you want to say, you went to Vegan, you went to Baguio, you went to Tagaytay, and said, hey, dude, I had an amazing experience in this place that served this amazing craft beer. Dun mo lang makukuha yun. O, oh, diba? Yes. Okay. Parang okay yun, diba? I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to experience that? You guys have to do that. Now, you can't travel, but you can order the beers. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I think uh, now, especially now, diba, and daming you can find anywhere, almost anywhere online. Na nagbebenta ng craft yeah. beer, so it, yeah. it's easy. Right. I mean, there's another guy uh, who just said uh, his name is uh, Beekman's Dave. Um, he says he's a Belgian looking from Taguig. Happy to see there are more and more good beers available here. So see. These guys, they're not even from the Philippines and they're loving the beers. Like, come on, you know, Philippines. Like, seriously, we have more than 300 uh, types of um, locally produced beers, brewed beers here. I mean, you have more than 300 reasons why you should try, you know, craft beers right now. I mean, it's the great, the best time to do. And you can also, you know, get into the, the, ho the hobby yeah, of um, home brewing. I'm definitely going to be one of those um, for sure very, very soon. So, you know, wait, people, I'm going to come up with my own beer. <laughs> Even if it's just for me. Yeah. Hey, so, okay, <clears throat> next one. Okay, and uh, Okay, like. The next one. I know next. What's the next one? Guys, if you guys are thirsty, go grab yourself a beer as well. Uh, you can share us what you're drinking. Uh, and, um, also, if you're still thirsty, you don't have a beer in your hand, you can order these beers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Like session? Okay. Yep. Session ale. Perfect. Okay. So let me check what is session. <laughs> okay. Session ale. It's, uh, it's another, it's American style pale ale. Right? Kanina yung tinayaray natin is a blunt ale. Now it's a pale ale, just like a uh, big steak. So what uh, is the difference between a pale ale and a, you know? Okay. Um, the, uh, huh, let me explain to you. Okay. So, so beer world, meron kaming pinafalo na standards. All right. So like uh, we call it BJCP. It's beer judging something, something. All right. So... Uh, so, meron siya mga particular style. So, each of this falls in a style, like talking about pale ale. So, so dapat, like especially when you're joining a competition, dito ginagamit mostly heavily yung BJCP. Kasi you will 
So there's judges, right? They will try your beer and see whether your your beer will fall under that category. Diba? Alimbawa, in the game of pale ale, but your color of your beer is like dark, like brown. Pala. So, <laughs> bagsa ka na. Hindi ka na pasado doon. So, there's a standards that we are we follow. Right. So, para, but of course, now, the, the, but now, of course, the beauty of craft beer, it, it's, it's not necessary na you follow that. Diba? Like, for me, pwede akong, ba, gawa ako ng sarili kong beer na, Kung ano man, kahit wala siya sa style, out of style, and as long as it's not infected or it's still, it's still drinkable, I think it's okay. You can actually name it any, anything that you want, right? Kasi like, like durian, durian beer, right? They're not in, in, in BJCP or any other, pero diba, you can still make those beers, right? Yeah. Durian beer must yeah. be an interesting uh, nose to that. Okay, so I'm pouring my beer again. So I'm pouring my beer to make sure that there's a nice head and to make sure that I can experience the aromas better. Oh. This is a little bitter. Medzo may bitterness, may bites and bitterness. So this is the session ale. Yep. And okay, and usually itong mga beer na to, it's 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 quite bitter, no? Pero not super bitter, maybe not uh, so bitter. Mm, yeah. Middle higher higher middle bitter, I guess. Yep. And then itong mga beer na to, they're usually paired it with something like food. Right, it's good to mm. pair. It's para siyang, ano, para siyang wine, di ba? I would, I would like to pair this with maybe like a burger. Yes, I'd like so to grill, burger. yeah, grilled burgers, red sauce, or roasted meat. Yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna. I have this special thing that my friend sent me. Um, it's um, it's an almond, a spicy almond um, brittle. Mm. Okay. Good. Bagay siya. Yeah. I'm gonna... So my friend's gonna start selling this thing and it's so good. She sent me a pack. It's a spicy... And if you look at it, it's like a lot of butter. Oh butter. A buttery, crispy, bitter with almonds na medyo spicy. Super bagay. Okay. So, I think yung, yung inakain mo na yan, it will be good dun sa... sa beer na yung strong ale kasi siguro sa dark strong ale siguro pero bakit din siya with this ah okay it can carry kasi it's a little it's it's not super high bitter but it's still it's quite there it's, more, it's a, a, a little bit over siguro middle middle high middle high bitter siguro okay and then like for parang beer bit. education tayo diba like mm-hmm. like uh beer we have two classification in beer we have the lager and the ale uh type or kind we call it like it's how they ferment mm. it's how the we but mm. for me it's two different things right? so ales or young lager young lager we go to the lager lager is more crispy more more crisp more uh light easy to drink beer siya, na beer na kind. Okay, ales are more robust, more heavy on flavors, more... Uh, more full. Yes. Mas, mas mm. Yung mouth, mouth feel niya is heavy. So, and then under that classification, there are other, we call it styles. The, which there are over 70 close to 80 styles of beer so and dami diba? hindi so like san miguel is just part in like under classification and lager and then under shanam like pilsner or yeah lager <coughs> pilsner so isa lang siya. so imagine of the offerings na craft beer 
uh, so so much so so wide diba? so yeah let's try so it's try. exciting you know yeah. it's exciting and there's a lot to learn from it um please excuse my asian flush i get asian flush when i drink beer oh i don't know why there's something about the ingredients maybe that kind of makes me you know so i'm kind of like kind of getting red already i'm not drunk don't worry uh it's just uh <laughs> it's an asian flush and i'm i'm still okay <laughs> you know that na, na, ako naman, na, na start ako into craft beer when i was in singapore i i get to try chime oh chime yeah. yeah it's one of my yeah. favorite yeah that's that's i'm more of the but, i'm more of the the delirium tremens kind of person i like okay. the pink elephant <laughs> but of course but like when you're in singapore you you always miss what you miss in the Philippines, right? So you drink San Miguel, right? So, and then later on, when I got into this Belgian beer, or like Chime or Dovel, it's totally changed me. It was like, wow, what's up with this? But, but it's mahal. But really, literally, it's mahal. Like, yung, yung San Miguel beers in Singapore cost me around ten dollar. This will cost me around thirty dollar on the same size volume, right? So it was like, but it's it's worth it but it's really worth it. it's not because i'm not i'm into craft beer but it's really worth to like drink it so ang ginagawa ko dati of course diba kung iinom ka na the whole night nang ganun ka mahal <laughs> ubo supero so what i will do is <laughs> initially i will start drinking those expensive beers siguro inom ako nung nung red and blue kasi yun yung mataas um alcohol content i think it's around nine percent so para lasing ka kagad and then succeedingly ang inimin ko like king san miguel na kasi buy one take one yun sila so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yun na yung panghugas mo pala panghugas <laughs> yes yun na yung panghugas mo so is it safe to say yung panghugas mo kailangan medyo mas cheaper tsaka ano <laughs> medyo mas oh, okay. <laughs> and th- i think that's okay i, I want to change the Con, uh, like mentality of the Filipino, okay, towards drinking. Is we're we're in craft beer, kasi we're not, kasi it's nasani tayo na pag lumabas, lasingan, inuman, di ba? Wasakan, right? Like di ba? Like bucket. I, I want to order a bucket of San Miguel, di ba? Like or a padamihan, tower, or like right? Like a bar, di ba? Padamihan, but like what we offer. It's a craft beer. It's, you don't have to do that. You don't have to like kill yourself, get drunk. You know, it's what we offer is enjoy, enjoy the flavor, enjoy everything. This the scene, kung saan kami inom, the place, the the flavor. Hindi mo kailangan maglasing. So yeah, yeah. So so question, uh, June. Yep. You know, there's there's a lot of um, beer already out there in the market. Uh, what is the situation in 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 the industry? Is um is uh, with with regards to the business of beer? You know, um, from an amazing uh, boom in uh, craft beer makers because they've been supplying the boom also of bars. But now that's all kind of you know that's been taken to a it's 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 taken a break, it's taken a break. Uh, I, we don't know till when. And so, how is the business of beer right now? Well, okay, depends on okay. where you look at that. Because, because right now because of the the thing that most of the bars and restaurants are closed right and there and there are brewers who yung market nila is sila they they don't they're not selling their beers directly to consumer before the pandemic right so what they do is they brew they keg they sell it to restaurants and bars right so these brewers are the one who is really badly hit by this uh pandemic Right, okay. but but the brewers who were like started selling their beers, 
direct to consumer they're very they're very good they're they're I, i've been like talking to them and asking them checking them like how are they they're they're their 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 sales are even better now than before the pandemic so so depend the consignment thing and more so i think and the beauty of it it it's easy for us to pivot our business so we just need to change the model of business so instead of like selling it directly to your bar and restaurants you oh yeah you need to like put up or create a page or create a website and then sell it directly to consumer and i think it i think this is the beauty of i mean sad to say but it is good in a way na that the the people are natuto mag online diba so everybody goes online so buy everything online diba so nasaling na sila so i think mas mas much better for us hindi hindi mo na kailangan yeah, pumunta kasi guys are now direct to the consumers na yes so hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa sa bar which they will or bar or restaurant that which will charge you so much for the uh, same craft beer if you can buy it online and get it much like you know much cheaper price all right so you know there's guys i mean it's really interesting because there's really a lot of opportunities still you know uh Right now, there's been, you know, of course, because of the pandemic, a lot of people have been affected. But there's still opportunities in this business, so maybe it is time to homebrew. It is time to set up something exciting. Yeah. It's exciting times, you know. Uh, it also depends on how you look at things. Um, you know, it's either you get stuck in the negative and get stuck in the problems and the worries, or you can be proactive and you know do something uh, that you know you haven't normally done that you're not yeah. normally that you haven't. Uh, try to do before, but you know it's exciting times because if you do try something new, you never know it could work for you, and um, you know it could be even better than um, what you were do. You could even be better than what you were doing before. You never know. You would always try. That's why. That's right. Yeah. It's exciting. Okay. So next one. I think we need to do this. We need to do it. You want Pero to try? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> we have two more. Okay. So we got. You want you want to do the 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 wheat ale first yes, before sure. the yeah. strong ale, guys. Sabi ni June, bakak malasing daw siya. But I don't think naman we're just tasting. Kasi pag nagtaste ako, usually inuubos ko lahat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, sige. Mamaya, pagkatapos ng show, we can finish ko ano yung natira. All right. And we're then gonna, we're not going to show the public anymore that we're drinking that. Hello. <laughs> <So, laughs> diba? And usually, uh, ang maganda kasi sa craft beer is they, they they can serve it on a different glasses, diba? Parang mm-hmm. pas, pasosyal ka ng pasosyal, right? So, you can have Sorry, it. Sorry, wala akong uh, normally like, you know, with with craft beer also, diba may mga certain shapes yan. Yes. Mga Belgian, ano, Belgian glass, blah blah blah. But uh, right now, I'm what I'm using is uh, I'm using a Glencarn, which is actually a whiskey glass. And what's interesting with this is that you know it has the shape that helps the aroma go straight to your nose. So the aroma is guided to your nose. That's the reason why this is shaped that way. Which is also perfect, definitely for tasting. So this. Okay, what I use. so. Our next beer is a wheat beer. It's a three five point four ABV. Let me check what is it. Okay, it's a wheat beer. It's a Belgian style wheat beer. So it's more hazy. Okay, it's a pale. Uh, color nya is pale, pale color. So it's naturally cloudy and full body. Mm. Okay. So let me open it. If I'm not mistaken, ito ata yung dating. I don't know. I don't know why it is, but maybe it's because I ate the peanut. But you know, it has kind of like a nutty taste to it. A little, meron siyang nutty note. Even the smell has that. It has a citrus um, nose and, to it, but it has kind of like a 
and usually like this is what i find so so wheat it's you get that like like sour taste sometimes <clears throat> because well, of the like, citrus notes said, diba, hindi ako talaga ano hindi ako wheat beer drinker so <laughs> okay by the way so wheat is another kind of grains that we use in brewing so we have actually it, it's right in front of me so this is this is the wheat grains and this is the the barley yeah so what was that thing before i mean uh you know during the during the olden days um okay. beer was the safest thing to drink you know because you yes. know uh water was very dirty and you get you know really really sick with 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 water so people used to drink uh beer okay so i, I think the story behind that is because <laughs> for like brewing beer because you need to boil the water so that means when you boil the water you kill the bacteria so kung ano man yung meron sa beer uh, sa water mo it kills it because you boiled it so that's why they encourage uh, just most recently meron may nagpost sa group namin na meron kaming patron saints ng beer kasi parang siya yung nag encourage to like parang to direct your drinking sa beer than 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 drinking water yeah. right so guys you know these are real stories from the olden times and you know right now beer is still safe to drink so you know make sure you pick up a new uh craft brew uh craft beer from uh yeah. selection from the uh, philippine craft okay. brewers. invite them again to do that in, in, and like in addition to like safe okay so as i can so uh the issue of the methanol thing all right so there's two different it's a two different process all in all the, the distilling and the brewing or the fermentation so sa beer we only ferment our beer so stop hanggang doon lang kami then ferment and then we condition that's it in 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 Spirits. distilling mm-hmm. is distilling. they we they ferment kung ano man yung like humbawa like beer pa rin siya diba so they ferment so beer siya and then after that they will distill so like yung evaporation mm-hmm. ng uh, well i'm not i'm not an expert on beer uh distilling but yung 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 evaporation ng ng liquid ayun yung yung nagiging spirits right mm-hmm. so may portion ng kaya nag kaya ra, di ba meron tayong sinasabi na gin bulag right mm-hmm. it's because there's a portion doon sa distilling na nakakalason kapag hindi maayos yung pag the distilled no? yeah so what right? they say so, is they you know there's a part when you're distilling there's the heads yes the first portion of the distilling the the heart and then there's the tails, the tails. Yes. So you need to make sure that you take out the the, the tails, the head. Sorry, the, the head. Yes. The head. Yeah. Yes. So you know. So, but uh, so just to to like get everyone uh, uh, watching is, but uh, we all you beer are safe to drink. It's always safe. It's the the, the only thing that ma even though that like bawa expired gen, right? The only thing that you will get is it's you will become you get a different flavor out of like your what you expect sa beer mo right but right even though still it's but hindi hindi ka hindi ka like siguro sasakit yung chan mo but you will not gonna kill you or uh, something like <laughs> well, that well that's always that's that's great news yeah I know. that's great news yeah. so, okay, so last last one from this series great right. so you got the last one which is a strong ale it caps off at 8.5 ABV. Yeah. Actually, I tried this uh, in one of our festivals. 
natakot ako. Like, really, it's scary. <laughs> like, I had this... Why? Like, parang dalawa pa lang. Parang, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Let's say. It's 8.5. But compared to the other um, strong ale, I mean, it's still uh, a friendly a friendly level compared to the others. I mean, the others could be like 9 point something, even higher than that, right? Okay, yeah. So, oh. um, Anisha is, ang kanyang, it's a Belgian style, dark, strong ale. It's dark amber. Okay, it's high maltiness. So, uh, complex notes of dried fruits like apricot. Ito yung hindi ko kaya talaga. Hindi ko, ito yung hindi ko nakikita. <laughs> so, so like apricot and hint of caramel. I think, uh, siguro kaya ko makuha yung caramel but not yung mga apricot na yan. I actually, um, I actually, enjoy, I'm actually enjoying this um, strong ale. The, 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 there's a, there's a certain nose to it that's kind of like, I don't know, there's kind of like a buttery. Mm. Like buttery caramel nose caramel, to it. Caramel. Diba? Mm-hmm. You get that caramel diba, parang may konti aroma. Butter. Tapos yung, fin, yung, yung certain part niya meron siyang fruity. A sweet fruit. Like a, yeah, tama nga. It's like a, it's like a dried fruit. A sweet, a sweet and dried fruit there. Mmm. Good. I'll try it again with this, ano, with this. Yeah, imperfect set. Mm. <clears throat> and then, usually, yung mga brewers, di ba? Like, I think that this is the beauty of craft, of being craft, right? That's, mer- yung, meron kaming mga tinatawag na flagship brand, di ba? Like, for mm. example, yung Crows, the Crows, they have this, uh, the Puta Madre, right? Yeah. Those are their, those are their, uh, flagship brand or Pedro they have this uh yung ESB nila right and but uh most of the brewers they do seasonal brand diba ko ano season christmas diba is coming they will do like uh uh what you call that uh pumpkin a seasonal ale. brew like a, a pumpkin, a pumpkin ale, yeah. ale brew like, Literally, there's squash or calabasa on it. They incorporate the calabasa. And then we do a lot of one-time brew, diba? Like, for example, oh, meron akong leftover hibiscus flower. Maybe I'll do something out of that particular flower, right? Or mm, experiment, yeah. yeah, experimental brew. Or so, most of, sometimes, or especially most of the time, they do a lot of collaboration brew. It's not between brewers. Like, for example, um, Joe's Brew and Pedro, they do a collaboration called Matilde because they're from Matilde Street, right? That's, I, I love that beer. It's a, uh, uh, what do you call that? It's a lager with a hint of bitterness. So it's a India okay. pale lager, okay? <clears throat> okay, Indian pale lager. Yep. Okay. Oh, Indian pale lager, okay. Yes. And then, like, yung collaboration is not just stop hanggang doon lang sa like dalawang brewery we we collaborate with other other things like like si Elias they do collaboration with those DJs diba? or coffee coffee company or anything diba like if like like us diba soon like drink manila and... yeah, let's do something let's do a drink manila collaboration with you guys yeah that would yeah. that would be awesome Okay, June. That's awesome. I mean, um, yeah, there's uh, amazing flavors. I mean, aside from like the mainstay flavors that are available right now in the market, these geniuses, you know, these like uh, liquid chefs, you know, these brewers, they come up with crazy, crazy seasonal, um, seasonal uh, flavors. So, hindi kayo, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get bored. So, especially now because a lot of people are bored, it's really the perfect time to get into it, right? Okay. So again, okay. Oh, la- last but not least. Okay. And another thing, diba, na uso lately yung cheese, ube cheese pandesal, right? Oh, and so may beer of, na ube cheese pandesal? Well, well that exactly. <laughs> not, not, 
literally ube pa din but it's a ube it's a ube ipa diba so cool okay ube ipa guys who loves who loves ube here a lot of filipinos love ube uh, i would love to try an ube beer where can i get that ube beer uh, let me see because it's it's just limited edition so we'll see if uh alam ko nagbrew ulit siya so uh, i'll let you know when it's available cool. wow i'm surprised i didn't i i i'm surprised about the color i wasn't expecting I was expecting a you know um, an amber colored cider or something, but this is different. This is a pinkish reddish color. What color okay. is this? Like okay, it, in addition to that, the right? like because this is not beer. Okay, it's a cider. It's so it's what is a cider for everybody? Yeah, what what is okay. a cider? Cider is usually came from apple. So okay, cider apple, comes from apple, apple juice, as the base. Your apple juice, and then ferment it, so that's become cider, right? Awesome. So, so it's based on. <clears throat> let me check what he said here. <laughs> that's right. that's right. uh, wait. That's right. it's, so it's a cider. A, it's an apple. It's an apple base. Yep. Okay. So it, it's they call it rose, rose. Rizal, because it's for rosé. Yeah, oh, it's rosé. a rosé Rizal. Rosé How Rizal. awesome! Right? Because the Basi Elias, Elias the... wicked ales and spirits. You guys are wicked. I really <laughs> love the way that you market yourselves. It's so cool. Yeah. From mixtape to rosé Rizal, Filipinos really love their puns, and this is one of the best puns I've 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 had. Who does to you? So this is a rosé cider. And from the looks of it, it is pink, uh, rosé. So let's, it already actually has the, it already has the nose of um, strawberries. This is it is so it's it's apple and strawberry rosé because there's some strawberries in here. Yep. Sada. How do you have any? That, do you have okay. any idea how much this is costing? I don't have. Okay, hmm. let me read what he sent to me. So, see, Rosario Seven percent OVV. Okay, it's a strawberry cider. Wow, wow, strawberry cider. So that's okay. I'm correct. Okay, fermented. All right, so strawberry cider. cider. This is fantastic. Yep. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm so happy to thank you so much for introducing me to this drink. This is something that I would carry, especially. Oh. I would, I would definitely carry this at the resort, man. Yeah, that would be perfect in the beach while lounging away, which awesome. And it's seven a seven percent ABV. Huh? <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank See you that. for. Thank, <laughs> thank you for introducing me to this. Uh, yeah, Gazun tight. <laughs> and uh, um, I think it's really fantastic. I will, I think after this, I will say good night. <laughs> this is great, guys. Uh, yeah, so, it's good. Eh? June, I really enjoy. I'm re I'm, I'm totally enjoying this. And thank you for guys. Thank you again for watching. Drink Manila Happy Hour. We have gone through. Six, six different types of um, alcoholic beverage, five being craft beers, different types of craft beer styles, and lastly, finishing with a really beautiful strawberry cider. So, you know, if you haven't tried a strawberry cider or you haven't tried Philippine craft brews, please go and try them. I mean, you know, go on, go on um, the website of um, Philippine Craft Brewers Association, and you can order from them if you want to start your uh, brewing uh, brewing story. You can start off as well and uh, follow them. Uh, June, any last words? Well, what would you like okay. to? Uh... Well, of course, uh, I would like to say thank you to to Raul from Elias 
and to, thank you so much. Enjoy your beers. And to uh, Frederick from Boondocks. Frederick, from, thank you so much as well. Uh, sponsoring all our beers. So hopefully, Great, thank you and, so much. Yeah, so hopefully this is not the la the the first and the last, diba? So pag meron kaming bagong i-introduce na beer, maybe we can like come and Of course, you, of huh? course, anytime. Yeah, you and know, thank you. Because uh, you, you like you've been supporting us all the way like pag may mga events kami, you always like help us to promote in your page. So thank you, thank you. Of course, you know, I mean, in the industry you're all family here. As as you said, you know, we're all here and we're stronger together. So, you know, kudos to you guys, you know, more power and excited, excited, excited to like, you know, learn more about the brews that are coming out from your end. And guys, you know, please don't forget, support Filipino products, support Filipino craft beers. They're amazing. Um, if you're looking to find a new hobby, I think, you know, you can, you're, you're probably definitely going to be enjoying how to, you know, start brewing your own beers. Or if you're lazy, go and try, just go and try and buy those 300 something plus beers available in the market right now. So thanks again for tuning in and thanks again for staying with us. The whole show, this, uh, this show has been a little bit long, but really enjoyable. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from us. So cheers, June. Cheers. Cheers. Thank so you. a bright future for Filipino craft beers. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much.